back in, everyone. Let's dive right into the deep end. The Boeing Machinist Union is voting today on a new contract proposal. The offer right now is being called, quote, worthy of presenting to the members of the union, but the union leadership, they have been careful to not call this a tentative deal just yet. So joining us to continue the conversation is Stella Sun. And Stella, Stella, just walk us through this offer that we have on the table right now. It's gone through a couple of revisions. Yeah, so this is the third offer now Boeing is giving up towards their union members, and it does inch closer to what the union demands. So they want a 40% raise over four years. They are offering a 35% wage increase over that four-year period. They're also offering a $7,000 ratification bonus, and the company is also offering a 100% match on the 401k up to 8%. And Stella, what have union members said about the offer so far? Is there any indication that this could pass today? So we've been out here all morning. Voting began about an hour and a half ago. We've been speaking with people out here. There have been people who have told us they do plan on voting. Yes, they're going to accept this offer. They haven't told that to us on camera, though. A lot more people willing to say no. They voted no on camera uh, with this contract offer. So it really just depends, I think, on every person's financial situation. We have spoken with people who have told us they have saved up, so they were ready for going without paychecks for a while. But then, of course, there are other people. Everyone's financial situation is different. Others are not prepared and want to get back to work and want the strike to end. Yeah, there is a lot of pressure behind that, of course, as you think the holidays are around the corner mm -hmm. as well. So, Stella, as you mentioned, the voting that started at 8 o'clock this morning. Can you talk about the process a little bit and how soon workers could get back to work if, if this offer is approved? Yeah, if and only if that's, this gets approved, that we can start to see some of these machinists back on the manufacturing lines as soon as Friday. But there's also a good chance that this could also be voted down no, which means the strike continues, and who knows how long that's going to take. So the simple majority, they just need a simple majority of 50% plus one. So it really just comes down to how these 33,000 members that are part of this union, how they decide, and we're expecting those results uh, later later tonight. Voting ends at 5 and shortly thereafter we should be getting a final decision. And Stella, what type of financial impact has the strike had on both workers and Boeing? Yeah, so this morning, Boeing reported a $6 billion quarterly loss. Uh, you, this, this is all due to this union strike, of course. The production lines are crippled by this. Union members still standing firm. Of course, some of these members have gone without their paycheck now, one of those paychecks. So some people have saved up, others haven't. It just depends on the financial situation. We have spoken with a lot of people, though, who seem to be standing firm. And regardless of what happens tonight, they're uh, ready for whatever, whatever happens. All right, Stella, that vote ending at 5 o'clock tonight. So we will be watching this closely, and we will let you know what happens. That's, thank you so much for that latest information on what's going on out there right now. Well, that brings us to our poll question this morning. Scan the QR code on your screen to vote. You see it on the right-hand side there. How should striking Boeing machinists vote today? And you see the numbers. Boy, they are pretty overwhelming right now. 73% saying approve what is being offered on the table right now and get back to work. 27% saying reject it hold out for more. Well, after sharing this poll on social media, we do have a look at some of the responses that we've been getting. Chris is writing, hold out, y'all. We got you. And Don is writing, better take what they can get before they get nothing at all. Never seen strikers strike a failing company. Seems like you're going to lose it all at some point in the near future. Now, remember, you can be part of the ARC Seattle team, too, and join this conversation. It is an important one. Just use the hashtag Arc Seattle on social media when you're sending us what you think about this. And it's a it's a complicated issue. They're now going into their sixth week of the strike. And as we've been talking about the there are pressure points on both sides of this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you talk about the financial impact, the economic impact, six billion dollars. That's a whole lot of money lost, you know, that was you know that information released today. Yeah. Then you think about the impact on production mm -hmm. as well. You mentioned some of that in your previous reports over the weeks as well. So there's a lot at stake here. Well, I think there's there's also some undercurrent here that Boeing came out uh, a little bit strong-worded with their last offer saying this is our best and final. Mm. 
and then basically one week later comes back and says, well, wait a minute, you know, maybe we can go a little bit higher. Yeah. So what does that mean for their bargaining ability? And the hmm. company itself, some economists have been saying, they were in a better position to negotiate during the last strike back in 2008. The, the company was in a stronger economic position. Being weakened right now with the CEO saying, as we've heard, you know, that the company has lost upwards of $25 billion since 2019, just a staggering number. Um, where are they in terms of how far they can go if, if the union feels like they have the company's neck on the chopping block? Do you go for that final blow mm -hmm. and everything you've been asking for? Or, like some viewers have been concerned, this is a company that is facing some financial constraints. Absolutely. How far do you push it until it breaks? And not only financial constraints, though, they've just have they had a rocky year. A lot of ups and downs for Boeing as a company in general due to safety incidents. Mm -hmm. And then we had that company bombshell culture. FAA report, company culture, things like that. And you've been reporting out on the picket lines for weeks. I mean, mm -hmm. what's kind of been your takeaway in just talking to some of these machinists who've been on strike? I think as Stella was pointing out, there's some divisiveness between younger workers versus uh. the veterans. How how much they've been able to save, how much they're making. Some of the younger ones saying, hey, we're making $17 an hour. We don't have a lot in mm. savings if this extends. We know this is an investment in our future. Whatever we get now really uh, makes a statement. So they want to stick with it, but the veterans are also saying, we saved up for this. We have some other options yeah. for health care that maybe is not as costly as what some of the younger people are facing. Everyone we've talked to, even though it's tough, as Stella was saying, for anyone to commit to a yes or no vote on camera, behind the scenes what we are hearing is this is going to be a close vote. Mm. That there was a very clear response from the union to the first offer from Boeing back in September, which started the strike, 94% rejecting it goodness they do not think we're going to see that kind of statement with this vote yeah. that it is going to be a little bit closer a little bit more divided that 94 percent kind of dropping all getting right. closer to getting that 50 percent and that's all it takes the simple majority so okay we'll the see. voting ends at five o'clock tonight it's gonna be happening all day and we'll keep you updated of course yep Stop